it's time to hit the panic button. Because you have to give a speech. You're doing whatever you can to get out of it, but unfortunately, you have to do it. You know you're going to fall on your face and be a laughingstock to the whole audience. Your friend Michael Lunks here. Can we stop the dramatic music? Thank you. I used to be terrified to speak in public. And in my last year of graduate school, I had to speak for 40 minutes! <laughs> but my friends, I'm here to tell you, I survived those 40 minutes, it went well, and now when it comes to public speaking, I absolutely love it. And it's because I use these eight tips discussed in this video. The first tip, you're not nervous, you're excited. Your heart's racing, you're breathing really fast, you didn't sleep the night before, you have sweaty palms, because you're nervous about speaking. This little girl feels the exact same way. Her heart's racing, she's breathing fast, she didn't sleep the night before, she has sweaty palms. But she's excited because she's meeting Santa Claus. If you tell yourself you're nervous, you're setting yourself up to fail. You're having the same response whether you're nervous or excited. Tell yourself you're excited and you'll do much better. Tip number two, you love your audience. I learned this tip from magician Howard Thurston. Before performing, he would tell himself repeatedly, I love my audience, I love my audience, I love my audience. Doesn't this make sense? If you're speaking with someone you love, friends, family, isn't it much easier to speak to them? Tip number three, talk to one person at a time. I learned this tip from Zig Ziglar. He explained that when he talks to thousands of people, he really only speaks to one person at a time. He'll make eye contact with that one person, speak for a sentence or two, and then move on to the next person. I'm sure you have one-on-one -on -one conversations all the time, and that's all you're doing when you're speaking. You're speaking to one person at a time. Tip number four, realize your audience wants you to succeed. Have you ever been at a wedding or some kind of party and someone stands up and gives a toast and they lose their place? What goes on in your head? You feel bad for them, and you're hoping they turn it around. That's exactly what's happening when you're up there too. No one wants to see a train wreck. Don't let one little mistake derail you. Get back on track and know the simple fact that your audience wants you to succeed. Tip number five, imagine your speech going well. You're probably using your imagination already, but it's the worst case scenario. Everything that's going wrong will go wrong. That's what you're picturing in your head. But let's change that. I want you to close your eyes and imagine the speech going well. You're speaking with confidence. You're standing upright. You're confident. You're telling jokes and people think they're funny. You are just killing it. It's that imagination that'll help you get there. Just visualizing your success will help you make that success a reality. Tip number six, practice in front of an audience. I've had many people tell me to rehearse in front of a mirror, but that doesn't help you. You're anxious because it's the people you're speaking to. So the best way to get over it is to practice in front of other people. Family and friends are great, but I think Toastmasters may be better. It's a speaking organization that has over 16,000 clubs in 142 countries. The best way to get over your fear is to face it, and this is the place to do it. I've gone up and I've given three or four dozen speeches that have been absolutely terrible, yet despite my terribleness, I always get an applause. The same will happen for you. If you need a little confidence when it comes to speaking, this is the place to get the encouragement and support you need. Tip number seven, Follow this sign, slow down, observe, and enjoy. This is a great tip, just live in the moment. Don't worry about the next sentence you have to say, just focus on the one you're currently saying. Look around, observe. You may be able to perform much better if you're just living in the moment, taking the response from the audience, and going from there. There may be times you forget what you wanna say, but just slow it down, take a second, regroup, and you'll be great. We saved the best tip for last, number eight, Speak to give, not to get. I learned this tip from Simon Sinek, who gave the popular TED Talk on Start With Why, and if you haven't seen it, check it out. He said that's one of his secrets to being a good speaker. He's quoted saying, showing up to give is the difference between a brilliant and authentic speaker versus someone who is not. Let's think about the word anxiety. Did you notice that I is in the center? That was my biggest problem. I worried too much what people thought about me but instead I shifted my focus to focus on what I can give the audience and then my anxiety went away. It'll do the same for you. I guarantee these tips will work for you because if they work for me, they will work for you. Think about how incredible you feel when someone asks you to give a presentation at work and you say no problem. A presentation at school, you say no problem. To give a toast at a wedding and you say no problem. 
And it's all because you use these eight tips for overcoming your fear of public speaking. This is Michael Lunks, a former shy guy, largely because I've applied these tips. I value your input, so please like, dislike, or comment below. And if you want more incredible tips on improving your communication, subscribe to my channel today by hitting that little circle above my finger. This is your friend Michael Lunks reminding you that if I can get over my performance anxiety, I know you can too. I've listed the eight tips in the description of this video as well as Simon Sinek's TED Talk. Check them out and I'll see you in the next video.